My name is Jordan, also known as Scraps. Today, I want to share with you of how to create something analog sounding. The only instruments we will need for this are any of the three following. An additive synth, a polyphonic synth, and a subtractive synth. Maelstrom will not be used in this tutorial. It is a grain table synthesizer and thus giving us bits in our mix. It's not very pleasant, and of course, it's not polite to use. So, in order to create something analog sounding, I'm going to give you a short demo of what I've created. Over the course of this little demo, we'll make this. So, have at it. Alright, first things first, we'll start with a combinator to save our computer's CPU, then we'll create a subtractor. For subtractor, we don't need to mess with any of the waveforms, the prefix saws, except we need to set both of these and turn oscillator 2 on to a saw, or actually a positive algorithm, my bad. Anyways, I'm going to take down my oscillator 2 down two octaves. I'm going to set my filter 1 to link to filter 2. I want to take filter 2 all the way down to 22, and my resonance up pretty high, so about 71. Then, I'm going to set my filter 1 to LP24, or low pass 24. I want to set my keyboard track all the way up. I want to take my filter frequency down to about 38 for now. Then I'm going to set the resonance to 30. Next, in order to give our sound a little bit of motion, kind of like uh, a Moog would do, is that the pitch isn't always correct. So in order to kind of mimic this, we're going to use our LFO. I want to take sync off. I'm going to set the rate to 1. 3 should be fine, 1 to 3 should be fine. I'm going to set the amount to 15. Make sure it's oscillator 1 and 2, or if you want to be very specific, you can set it to oscillator 2. For this example, I'll leave it at 1.2, or 1 and 2. Next, what we want to do is boost our sustain all the way, take our decay down to about 15, and boost the attack by 8. For the release, take that to 14 because as soon as you hit a stab note, it sounds more like a real bass. So after this, in order to create something more wide, I'm gonna go to my RV7000 Advanced Reverb. The preset that we're going to use for this is called Wimberly or Wembley. What this does is it gives kind of a pluck sound to the very beginning. So I'm going to take my decay and dry wet to about 11 and 18. I'm going to boost my dry wet so that way you can hear the difference. It gives it a little bit shorter atmosphere, but it's perfect. Next, in order to create some more tightness with this, we're going to choose the echo. Here is something very critical. I'm going to set the time all the way down to 1 over 128. Then next, I'm going to set my feedback to 13. And for the drive, we're going to set this to tube. And the drive amount, we're going to set to about 36. Any more than this, and it will start to become distorted and unwanted. So not much going on there. However, when we attach a bass amp and compress it, 
and attach our Scream 4 distortion and set the type to tape then take the damage to about 15 I want to turn P1 to 85 and P2 at 30 that's perfect I'm going to set my master probably around 105 now let's have a listen there's a little bit more oomph to the end to the beginning and to the ends of the sound it sounds more like a bass this is perfect this is right where we want this next in order to give it a little bit of fatness we're going to attach a pulverizer i didn't use this in the beginning tutorial because it wasn't necessary but all you need to do is add some squash and some dirt that's much better Next, in order to swing the sound out and master it, I'm going to take my M-Class Equalizer and I'm also going to create an M-Class Maximizer. I'm going to turn on Low Cut and for P1, I'm going to take this all the way down, negative 18.3. I'm going to set my Q to 32. I'm going to take this right all the way to 39.1. The reason why is so that way when our kicks and our low kicks come in, they won't hurt the sound in any way cause kind of like weird phasing distortion and it won't sound right I'm gonna set my attack to fast my release to auto and my soft clip amount to 127 now if we boost our filter frequency It sounds a little bit more analog like so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial there will be another one right after this probably in Ableton explaining how to beef up the drums or in this case I want to switch it up and I'm gonna show you that in reason so take care guys and I'll see you guys in the next video